that'll be a one for all. Um, it's me. Like a crow. Framing for a bear. Fine. A lot of things that happen in real life prevent framing. I felt like so on this one, as you can clearly tell, things are a bit different, you know? That over there. Um, I got a new toy. I decided, you know what, I'm going to play myself building it because I'm just going to be sitting here listening to music and uh, doing it anyway. So if people want to come along and watch, they can. If they want to chat, they can. And gives me an excuse to uh, get back into streaming. Um, I do want to do a bit more. So what's been going on for me since about November last year, I think was my stream. A lot. Yeah, lots happened. Rebuilt my computer twice. First time because I was upgrading my old states. Second time because I had a fire computer. I had squished one of the wires, I believe, and kinked it, and and just overheated. Just you know, bought it, didn't damage it, and so. We got my computer again, so I pretty much have a brand new computer set up now. Uh, but I had last time I streamed, and already I can tell that uh, the CPU doesn't care at all streaming. Not what I'm doing right now, anyway. But um, yeah, so a nice, pretty little thing. So if anyone's been following on along on my socials, because I'm still posting, uh, probably with seeing what's going on there and why it happened and the photos of it all. So. You know, and then of course there's been a whole heap of uh, family things that have been happening, uh, range of situations uh, as well. Katobi, who people don't know is my cousin, uh, has gone away from streaming on Twitch um, and is focusing just on YouTube on uh, creating artwork, which is uh, awesome and coming along and uh, we're Focusing a lot more on that, I guess. Um, like I even did some work to make the next lot of uh, artwork creation a little bit easier with uh, some lighting and everything. I don't know. Yeah, you can sort of see Kobe's give me a couple of his lights to use if I want to. So a lot of that stuff's been happening. Um, so nothing for myself. It's just been lot of house projects and stuff and change of job after 11 years I quit where I was at and uh, I've moved on elsewhere so the new job keeps me busy because I'm working for long hours uh, some days so yeah things have changed a little bit um, so I streamed so you know I want to come along just and just like this, do that oh no exist just a few years ago the future of work is constantly changing. Didn't Luckily, know that SoundCloud sound now has ads. Prepare to be that's something new, but uh, RMIT online. I see why they've got it. It's the, the money from the ads goes straight to the artist. So, if anyone wants to know who I'm listening to, I'm listening to Lucy Sky Diamond, uh, one of my friends and tattooist who has done many of these tattoos. And that's one of the other things. Go check out Emo Pixies. Um, YouTube channel you would have seen the, their last lot of videos was myself and them um, doing tattooing uh, catching up after not seeing each other since uh, COVID hit so yeah it's been a bit, bit of a fun one and uh, that's going to happen again next year so a few things have happened but you know I can chat to anyone who comes along otherwise I'm going to do my thing and uh Right, this bit of fun. I'm gonna move over here out of the way. Don't need my chair in the way. Audio should be reasonable enough over here. I can see my mic on and the studio microphone I got from the top of the <laughs> Yeah, quite often when chatting in Discord. Probably down the alley. Beyond this. Every other is cutting on. 
this down here a bit. Yeah, I'll probably talk a bit. Oh, I'm gonna change it to my headphones. Yeah, let's change these settings. I am probably talking a bit quieter than I used to when I would stream. So, what I will do is go to my settings. That'd be weird. A little bit different audio, but at least coming from the microphone next to my face. So, that won't pick up the kitchen, this microphone. And, you know. Uh, this is the first time as well I've used my setup, like, since first stream of, of course, since the rebuild, so just curious to see how it will go and what other changes I need to make and, you know, because there's the possibility I'm going to have to do a complete Windows wipe, which, uh, not looking forward to that if I have to, but I'm hoping because I've upgraded to Windows 11 finally. That, that might solve the problems. Queen. Yes, Queen. I can't see from over here because I'm blind as a bat, but I can keep this up. Why does my phone screen turn off? Yeah, finally upgraded to Windows 11. How's it go and see Elite? I need to change my settings because I thought I turned my... Um, the screen time out off. Hopefully that does the job. All right. Yeah, that's good. Uh, can I put it that way? No, I won't. Let me. Fine. You can stay like that. Um. So I've got my phone next to me, so I can see. Hi, Danny. So I can see, and it's sitting on 20 kilos of uh, filament for 3D printing. And of course, I'm building my 3D printer um, this afternoon. Uh, there's my giant 3D printer. The, the little one is uh, next to my computer. So I've been doing a lot more stuff with 3D printing. And that's one of the things that uh, both Katobi and I have been sort of looking forward to as well with Katobi's artwork is uh, some of the things that we're going to print and create, which no one else will have. Um, we've already printed out a few things that uh, Katobi's used. Can't see you well, but I'm sure you're looking handsome as ever. Not as handsome as I was looking last night. Uh, I was all dolled up for a friend's party. Uh, with that, I was all dolled up. Today, I'm just in casual stuff. Oh, there's stickers. They have stickers, which you can probably be up there. Not very well, but because you said you couldn't see me, it'd be easier to look into that one because like I could do that, but it's still far away. But <laughs> yeah, so I have ever since I bought my first 3D printer, which was you're just half asleep. Um, I first bought my 3D printer. I think that was just after. I last streamed or ran about when I last streamed um, yeah and uh, since then done a few little things with it because I always planned on getting one for a while and then I finally bit the bullet and got it um, yeah uh, and uh, I always had the plan of eventually getting a larger second 3D printer. So in that way I can um, deal with some larger prints and stuff that I want to make. Because I have the plan of making some cosplay outfits that are 3D printed. I've got the models for them and stuff like that already. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a, a fun time. Oh, that's a big... Big boy. Um, screws and other bits and pieces. Okay. What time will it be for yourself uh, there, C Elite? 
I'll give you a big boy. Hey, if you want, Danny. I won't say no. Alright, so of course they always give you a filament, but um, I don't use their default one. Um, well, I might use it at some point, but I haven't used it yet. It's, I don't, haven't printed anything out in white yet. Ooh, that's the screen. Lovely little screens. I just uh, saw um, the other day that the 3D printer that other one I've got is a Ender 3 uh, version 2. And I just saw that the Ender 3 version 3 has been released, which has a touch screen. Which um, is the one thing that that one doesn't have is a good touch screen. Oh, that's a much better uh, spool holder. I don't need to be told how to put that on. That's straightforward. Mm, nice, and it's designed so you can put it the other way. Cool. 3 a.m. hype. Mm, good old 3 a.m. hype. Don't have uh, don't have those emotes anymore. Oops, and I accidentally went out of my chat on my phone. Good job. There you go, Katobi's got the 3 a.m. hypes. Katobi's the only one who can use his uh, motes now. No one else can use them. And good old universal power plug. Katobi's supposed to be editing. <laughs> Big chunky bits of uh, foam to keep everything uh, safe. But there's something stuck in here that I need out. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, some rods. Danny wants to give me a big boy. I'll give Danny a rod or two. All right. With uh, this model, uh, which is the CR6 Max, as you can sort of see, they primarily have it built for you. Uh, you've just got to do a little bit of work. It's because how big it is, they pre-assemble most of it into the complexity of it all. Now, question is always, what's the best way of Pulling these things out. Alright, let's sit you here for a sec. Ah, Katobi, I got Mellow a new box. <laughs> Good old Katobi scream. Study digital marketing, business analytics, CX strategy, and more while being mentored by experts from leading businesses. Hi, Lotus. With RMIT Online, designed for the future of work. Yeah, have some zini butts. Good old zini butts. Ugh. All right. Now, next step is getting this part out. All right, that's top part. The interesting thing about this model um, of the uh, CR6 is currently are a very large, very established company, but this model was actually a Kickstarter from them. Um, that's how they, they originally did it, because all, at that time, all their different printers uh, use very similar parts, whereas this was all redone from scratch. So they wanted to get some research and development money into it before I did. they did anything else. Apparently up this late because you've got nothing really planned tomorrow and don't see uh, all y'all a lot because of time zones yeah fair enough uh see you late i uh 
I'm usually awake at about 3 a.m., but that's because I'm working. All right, that's the side. Oh, golly. <laughs> the legs for this thing were getting stuck in the, the foam. Oh, because you'll be able to sort of see they got the uh, holes in there for um, the legs to go through. Yeah, that's what <laughs> it was getting stuck in on me, of course. So, what have you been up to then, Steel Elite? I know you've been uh, getting your stuff for content creation, which has been awesome to see. Oh, that's, that's a good way of holding down the bed. And then you can remove it easily. Makes it stay in the right spot all the time. That's really cool. Everyone always loves peeling off plastic. Let's peel off the plastic. Of course. Oh. So, I plan on primarily using this 3D printer for building armor pieces and the like. I think that we, uh, oh no, that was Danny. I was like, hang on, I hear something weird. That was Danny doing next to you. I need to update those Phasmo sounds, uh, Phasma sounds now that they've got a new version. Ah, SD card this side up. Nice. That's all the cables there. All the cables, nice. With a tape that holds them in place. Ah, this one has the power cable on the side. Interesting. Ah, I got through the challenge really quick yesterday for Ghost. Nice. It, the Ghost was uh, behaving itself for Ghost. Alright, so. So I've got the base. I install the gantry frame first, which is the one on the side of me. So it's saying I need to put some long screws into there first. So let's see, where's my box of goodies? Box of goodies. <laughs> I mean, it killed us, but yes. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Just chuck it up down there as well. M6 screws. These are probably the M5s. M5. 545, which is the ones that I need. Interesting. Ah, oh, there they are. I was, was going to say, I'm like, this is interesting because I don't know where all the tools are. It's in a tool drawer. It has all the different things, the SD cards and all. That's a good way. That's a lot better than um, how the last, like the Ender 3 version 2 was packed. But that's a really good setup. USB in there, hot head, uh, ends and everything. Cool. 
Oh, a little cleaning bit. Nice, nice. Alright, well, I guess I put this to the side because I'm going to need bits and pieces out of it. But this is really cool as well, the spatula to, to get your build uh, builds off the plate. It's a lot better than the Ender 3's version. So, um... For people who definitely won't know, um... I am, of course, streaming for the first time in, like, 10 months. And Toby also hasn't streamed for a very long time, and, uh... I might have a project which is going to cause us to stream very soon, relating to the 3D printing that, uh, we'll be doing. So, got something else to look out for soon. Alright, now, it says to... And also his butt crack, maybe. Ah, oh, no, I'm probably going to wear a dress for it instead. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I need to turn this around and do it from the other side, it says. Yes, queen! Yes, queen. So... I think the best way to do this is gonna be to try and get it up on its side. That there. Reason being is I need to get to the dead center underneath here and put in these uh, screws. Awesome. Just going to put them in sort of place, even though this isn't going to be perfect. It's better than uh, nothing. All right. So, with it this way, I need to have this fairly here. So with the end of three, I had to build all of this stuff, like from scratch. But I guess with this one, it's a little bit more complicated. So they decided, let's uh, simplify it and uh, not have as much for people to have to build. Because this has two motors on it, so you have to have them in sync instead of just being one motor. That's going to support that, hopefully, while I get the other side into place. Going to check. What is this playing? Yes. Just making sure it's still playing Lucy Sky Diamond. <laughs> I thought it was, but I was like, always better to check with this sort of stuff. I'm going to get to the edge of the table. I think this is going to be a lot easier for me. Get to the edge to line it up and then put the screws up. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, this is much easier like this. Still just a sketch, but at least I'm kind of get things in position. So eventually this one's going to be going over next to the other 3D printer. Uh, I've got to sort things out over there, but so for the time being it's just going to sit here behind me. But uh, not not forever. All right. Get out of it. What the? Just double checking that I put it the right way around. It does appear that I have from the photos, but you know, you check, check again, and then check some more with this sort of thing. Because the last thing you want to do is put it back the front and then have to pull the whole thing apart and redo it again. All right. Let's get rid of those. Now to figure out what bit that I need to uh, do these up with. <laughs> gonna do that like this, because that's gonna be stable there. Not gonna be able to see what I'm doing, but uh, yeah. This is going to be a lot quicker build than the Ender 3 was because of course, like I said, I had to completely do the Ender 3. I just recently pulled it apart as well um, and upgraded it. I uh, attached... Ah, nice. Just looking the way the cables are done. I attached uh, height extensions to it because there's an upgrade kit to add more height to the Ender 3. So uh, I've gotten that. I've got to upgrade the uh, firmware. So it uses that now, but uh, for the time being I'm not so worried, as long as it's uh, functional when I want to print it, because I'm not exactly printing large items on it yet, but I will have to go into the firmware and upgrade it. Last time I tried upgrading the Ender 3's firmware, I ended up having so many issues. Um, with it not working and all this sort of stuff so I'm hoping hoping it just works it'd be nice I'll turn this around because it's do the same sort of thing as I just did. That all down there first. Um, because I don't really want to angle up the cable too much. I might just hold it here and do it. I can do it! As long as it works, that's the main things. Fingers crossed. Yeah, very much so. A 
that's the, the, always the most important part is making sure it works. The other really cool thing about this design compared to the Ender 3 is they've actually recessed slots into it where the frame has to go into. So um, there's less guessing, it's going to be straight. Like the Ender 3, you can install it and be slightly wonky and cause yourself issues. Not what you want. So, yeah. All right. That's uh, that section connected now. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how loud this is compared to my Ender 3. The Ender 3, uh, yeah, it can make a bit of noise, but there's upgrades you can do to it. So I've got the models that I want to print out that go underneath to change the fan. So you can put Nokia uh, fans into it so it's of course silent running because everyone knows Nokia's are the best for that um, you could put in other brand ones as long as they fit the same area but if I'm going to do that upgrade I'm going to get the Nokia's because that's what it's been designed for all right next page is for me to install the display all right, where do I put the display down? Up here. Aha! So, the display go like that on the side with two five, uh, M5N screws. So, it's, let's go with guess of those. No, they're M512s, so I don't want those. Hopefully it's not too loud. I feel like I'm watching one of those Legos building streams. <laughs> M510. Yeah, like I could have just done this without streaming, of course, but I was like, nah, let's do this as a stream. Let's, let's have the opportunity for people to pop in, have a chat while doing something like this, because like I've done similar in the past um i love this song it's one of my favorite ones from lucy sky diamond they haven't uh, had the opportunity to really focus on their music as much lately is they have their own tattoo studio that they are running, which I had the opportunity to go to in March, and I'm going to again next March. So if you want to see the adventures that we had on that, we did stream and record, but all on um, Lucy Sky Diamonds, uh, Lucy Adams YouTube channel. Uh, so look up Emo Pixie, and you'll be able to check out the vlogs from when I was up there and uh, the fun we had. It's definitely uh, good to see and chat to you. Yeah, besides when you've had the chance to jump into Discord and I've been there. Yeah, so if people do want to chat to me um, and see that I don't stream much anymore, jump into my um, community discord that I am a part of with Katobi, Danny Hell who's here, the elites in there and a whole heap of other people like we started the community to get a whole heap of us streamers together instead of having our own discords for every single person like I didn't want to have my own discord so when Katobi started making it we just made it as one. Alright. So now I need the Poco sticks. Oh, Danny, if you're there. Katobi's told me all about uh, a certain product which uh, 
I'm uh, I'm going to be buying. I do love the fact that I was the one nominated for it, and it's very true of me going, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> All right, that's those. That will be connect those together. The elite wants to know what's going on, I believe. But, um, what's up is uh, definitely not something for stream. It'll be a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, others can say what what it is. I'm not going to on stream because that might ruin the surprise for someone. But yeah, it's definitely I, I'm one that uh, wouldn't care about that sort of thing. I'm um, ah uh, phone. Always open for gossip, but won't pray. Basically, it's um, I, something I was nominated to buy while I wasn't even at home. I was at my friend's place last night, and everyone else in Discord came up with it. Um, yeah, I find it funny, and I'm I'm actually just like, yeah, sounds good. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm probably the perfect person to give it to him as, um, um, to, to, to uh, what am I saying? Probably the per, uh, words. I'm probably the perfect person to deal with that as well, like, for what it is. Just, it'd be funny from me doing it. Alright, so. I've got to go. One of those, those, right. so I find this funny out of all of the, the stuff because I'm putting the pull ro uh, the rods together and you have to connect the different bits together and it's got like your little sort of uh, loop, head, ones, whatever. You can screw through the top, pretty much. But you've got to, instead of just having like the length of this with the correct length or whatever to just screw in and be done with it, they've given you a nut and you have to manually adjust it to the right height. That just seems silly to me. Like, you. Yeah, so that I, um, so a streamer can give, uh, another streamer specialized, uh, badges for their stream. So I've given Katobi the artist, uh, badge. So what that means is, um, hello there, high heels. <laughs> um, high healy. Yeah, high healed. Yeah. How you doing? Um, ugh. Yeah, so I gave it because Katobi's made stuff for me. And uh, I think everyone knows very well what to do with that uh, lovely person that's just arrived in chat. Is uh, unfortunately my dude. That's not something that I deal with here. Yeah, don't deal with promotions. It's like, uh, usually I say to people, they got the yeet, uh, yeet hammer. Um, they didn't get the ban hammer, they got the yeet hammer. So he 
Yeet. Yeah, so there's two people in my channel that have uh, the artist badge. Uh, Katobi and uh, Grateful Jester. So Grateful Jester created my uh, artwork, like my queenie and all that sort of stuff. And Katobi is my artist for music because my like intro music and everything like that is all done by Katobi. Ah, I see. There's an extra little bit there. Nice, nice. And Utopi has the artist in Danny's stream as well. Yeah, I like the fact that they did add that in because so many streamers have their artists actually in their stream. So it's nice to be able to go, hey, this is the person who actually made the assets you keep complimenting me on. And that sort of thing. Like... If someone came in and went, oh, I love your intro music, I'm like, ah, see that person there? They created it. So what I'm building right now, the, pot, uh, the pull rods, um, they're for stability. It's how big this is, of course. It that, like That doesn't have any real wobble or anything like that. But it's there just to make sure. Uh, especially with some of the upgrades. Ah. Jobs like this. Podcast. Oh, I got one of the, the uh, new ads. The of work is constantly changing. Luckily, that's it's probably not new. It's probably been there for a while, but. Prepare to be the first of your kind. I don't mind. If the artist gets some kitching. It'd be funny when uh, Lucy just goes, Why am I getting a payout from. Uh, from. Uh, SoundCloud, no one uses that. <laughs> it goes on there's like, oh, Skylar. Alright. So, now I basically have to figure out how to get these to the right height. This seems like a lot more complicated than it needed to be made. Like, made to be. Like, why couldn't you just give someone literally that with like a stopper somewhere, like only like somewhere the thread will go to and that's it. Like, you can't go anymore. Instead of making, yeah. Lighten up a screw and then put it back down and iron up a screw and shake it all about, do the hokey pokey and burn around. That's what it's all about. The funny thing is, this is almost completely being uh, built now, which is not what I was expecting at all. I, I, I sort of got this uh, about a week ago. It arrived, I think it was. Basically, it ended up being an impulse buy um, because I knew I, I wanted one, like one of these larger ones that has a 400 by 400 by 400 build surface. That's in uh, metric millimeters. Not in um, your hand size, nail thickness, stupid imperial. 
I don't know what it would be in Imperial. I don't care about <laughs> Imperial. The funny thing is, this company is... Like, like all these 3D printing companies, they all use metric. None of them use Imperial when they come to their measurings. Just like... Yeah, just get... Get with it. I'm close enough now where I can touch section, see what happens. Yep, that's the right one. So let's attach this one up the top. Now I should be able to just do the fine tuning adjustments once this is in place. looks like it. I'll put my longer ones so they are. So what you doing today, Danny? I know what Katobi's doing. Well, I know what Katobi's supposed to be doing. I don't know if Katobi's doing it if he's in chat. Katobi's supposed to be editing videos for artwork. So make sure you go check out Katobi's YouTube. I am, no don't. <laughs> Thanks, we wanna... One of the things we have been sort of focusing on a bit has been trying to help make things a bit easier for the artwork. I have to duck my head now. <laughs> at times ah, because I did a modification uh, to where Katobi records um, I suggested it and I put some holes in the roof to make things easier close enough yeah put some holes in my roofs and that way Toby didn't have to worry about stuff as much oh bugger me oh talk about worrying stuff what did I do there it is I put it down on the ground you know when you just love that feeling of going oh bugger I know I had my tool right here where did I put it now yeah I'll put it on the ground Yeah, so eventually I might upgrade both my 3D printers with some of the upgrades that are available for them. Um, for this time being, they're stock standard, but uh, it will probably change as time goes by. Yeah, I think that's close enough there. Not doing much, just chilling. Playing with the doggos, or, or just having the doggos bark at you, carrying on. 
Before I started um, streaming, I cleaned up this area because usually where I'm sitting, I have Spooky's stuff. So his food bowl and all that stuff sitting over here. Um, so of course I wanted to clean it up and move it. So every single time I moved the, his bowl, it came running. Like at one point he was out the outside and I had the, the front door was open, but the fly screen was closed and um, he could hear me moving his bowls. And I heard him run to the door because like his bells were just jingling away, giving away his position. He came rushing in thinking I was playing with his bowls, going to give him something to eat. And then he comes in, checks his bowls and gets disappointed. Then I'm moving around some more a little bit later. He does the same thing, comes running on over and he gets disappointed because yet again, uh, I have not... Um, put any food in the bowl for him but that happened a few times and he's following me around and everything I, I go to Katobi I think I'm teasing my cat like what I'm like yeah because I keep moving the bowl and he keeps running thinking I'm going to give him food it's too early for that I wonder if part of the reason why they did this as a Kickstarter as well was so in that way they can get people's opinions as to how it should be built. Um, never know. I can see when I take these um, motors, uh, the extruder down, I'm going to have to bring it down somewhere lower where I can... Oh uh, no, I might not be able to access it. But I think I need to get in and tighten up some of these. See the little nuts that uh, look like they, they need a slight tightening. It's in such an awkward position. Yeah, because that's part of the whole thing, so I don't think I can. Oh, I see. So, that in there, then find that. So yeah, once I drop it down, I can actually get into there. Sweet, sweet. I'll have to do that at some point. It's not bad, like I can just see there's a tiniest little gap. I'm like, all right, that probably needs a little bit tightening up. Once you run it, and you make sure it all moves, then you do that sort of thing. I like this uh, new extruder. It's like the one on my Ender 3, you have a dial on top and it's a bit awkward. This one, literally, you just pull the thing back to release it or put the new one on it looks like that's cool so that's obviously to release it so you can throw it through and then you put it back on to reclip it it's got a little sensor to tell you if there's a split like if the filament stops for whatever reason and it's like not detected it goes hang on something's not right there um yeah, this is going to be a lot easier to use. I believe. Nice, nice. Alright, I should stop admiring it and uh, st continue working on it. Alright. Spool and rack lovely fella here so it's saying that oh it just clips on and it's pardon me oh yeah so yeah, it's, it's designed so that way you can put it in multiple different spots. So you can have it forward, have it back, stuff like that. Hmm.
tighten it so it can be folded so I'm guessing you're supposed to tighten it up once in place. That's supposed to like clip on like that and go down. Click it in, bang, clicked in. Be slid across, which is cool. So it's probably gonna end up sitting somewhere like that. Oh actually it's gonna have to yeah, it looks like it goes out far enough. But if we're transport, you can fold it in. That's cool. Can't really see it very well, but that's okay. Let's see. Foldable! Let's see what happens when I tighten it up. Wrong one. I don't need the big boy Allen key. Tightens it up, stops it swinging around, which is how you'd want it while printing. So if you're transporting it, you can fold it back. So, because I'd want it like that, because otherwise when you're printing, you're going to just have your spool just flop around everywhere. No one likes a floppy spool. Alright, so once that's all done, it says it's just telling me like how I can remove these bits and pieces, adjust them and stuff if they need to be fixed. All that sort of stuff. It's pretty much up to the stage where it's gonna tell me to start plugging things in. Alright. So, I'm going to have a few cables here that I need to plug in. They all are going to have slightly different looks to them. So, Z1 goes into the side here. which is the sensor for the height adjustment. The other cool thing about this um, printer is it has a built-in light uh, in the hot end. That light automatically detects the bed height, so it will self-level without me having to do manual adjustments, which is awesome. Um, means you pretty much don't have to ever self-level this thing. All right, so let's now bring this up here. That looks like it plugs in that way. Now, ah, oh, interesting. So they also use this pole to help keep um, things away from the the print. That's that's a good idea because then the pole will yeah stop it getting underneath where you're printing. That's the idea anyway. Just gonna do as I do. Just check, check again that that's actually what it's saying. Yep, and it's saying to also. Come on.
There's a bracket here you're supposed to put the cable into. It's a... Ah, I shouldn't need to take that out to do this. So I want you to get this up here. Problem is, they've got this very short cable running directly over top of it and they've hot glued it in place. So you can't remove it. Doesn't make things easy for when they want you to do something to that area. Come on, you can do it. Almost there. Aha! Yep, so that's the idea. So that way, it definitely stops it backing down underneath the hot end. It forces it to come out the side. That's a good idea of how they do that. Now, I need to plug in the cable on the other side. <sighs> Which is underneath here. I think oh, that's for the screen. It's that one there. Got my big head in front of the camera. goes underneath there and then the last thing to do is plug in power let's turn it around the right way didn't think I was gonna have to use my tools but I had them sitting there just in case because you never know Right, so you can see how big this 3D printer definitely is by the fact that uh, it takes up my entire coffee table. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have that stick over this way a bit more so that way I don't whack it on the other side. Now, yeah, I've done, done one, and yeah, I've done all those, I've done that. It's looking pretty good. Now basically, yeah, it just says power it up. <sighs> Means I'm going to have to get an extension cable. For the time being, it's living where, uh, here where it is until we sort out the permanent location for it. Alright. I've got to move Mallow's cubby house out of my way. Chuck that one out of here as well. Do, 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 do. Now, where's one of my extension cables? Ba, 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 da, da, da. Yeah, that should be enough. Do, 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 do. I just cleaned my garage and now I'm just throwing more stuff into there already. Yay me. I've done a good job at cleaning when uh, 
I instantly make it dirty again. It's not that bad. But it's a lot worse. No. Yeah. It, um... It's not gonna be too bad. Do 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 do. And plug it into a power point. That's hidden. Out of sight. No 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 no. You can't see me. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> So you know what? Let's see if I can, for the time being, get that do that. Yep, that works. Try and spooky proof the cable management, especially when uh, his stuff's going to be over here. Oh wow, that is so much quieter. Beep. Let's chuck those into there that into there that back on top I think that was here or was it that way that was up where I think it was I can't remember how this was it was something like that You know when you get so determined to try and remember how something was and you end up just getting distracted by trying to do that? Yeah, that's basically me right now. Because all the stuff's going to end up coming out of the foam and just chilling there, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. Now, this, I believe, is a touch screen one. Yes, it is! Alright, select level to automatically level. After leveling is complete, just the. Auto leveling. Oh, it heats up the temperature before it starts leveling. Nice. There we go. It's clearly uh, plugged in if it's moving uh, you can't see overly well with it the camera up there so let's reposition a bit let's bring this all the way down here now oh, don't mind the camera looking at the ground you can look at something else in a sec why are you not cooperating with me Yeah, something like that. OCD says it's on an angle. But yeah, so this is slowly going down so it can level itself. Right. So, I like the fact they give you some spare parts, which is what these are. This is for up the top here. Obviously, in case something goes wrong. Not sure what that part is, but we'll figure it all out. I'll chuck it with my pile of uh, 3D printing stuff. 
can go up there, that can go there. Maze Runner. Nice song. Right, I need to, oops, not hit that. I'm going to take my phone off charge and get it out of the way while it does its thing there before I get on to the next step. Do, 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 do. Really feels like the music's just stopped. So I'm going to check probably what's going on there. Just cleaning up a little bit because I need to make space for the next step of stuff. Hello, it's my face in your way. Ah, oh, yep, that's because it's the end of the list. It stopped. <laughs> I love the fact that down here on the screen, it's you can't really see from there, but pretty much it's giving me the line of the pattern it's doing, like because it's going along and checking each area. Nice, nice. So while it's doing that, what I'm wanting to do is <sighs> get over here. Be able to see on one camera, but not so much the other. But uh, maybe let's turn this over this way a little bit. No, that's not going to work. Just made things worse. Anyway, you can see me on the webcam. But uh, yeah, I'm going to open up these boxes and figure out what colors are in what. So I ordered 10 rolls of white, five rolls of black, and five rolls of gray. Reason being is the uh, cosplay that I intend to do is primarily white for the armor, gray for the weapons with some black, so I figured if I had the three colors, um, then I could just print the parts in that color and um, means when it comes to painting and stuff like that, there's less I need to do. Because I'm also going to have to buy uh, airbrush setup, air compressor, all that jazz. Apparently you should get a filament dryer as well. Um, I haven't got one at this stage. I will get there at some stage. Because um, they suggest that you dry out your filaments before you print because it gives you a better uh, a better outcome. Alright, so I got my white. Which is what I want to put onto this machine first is white. The heck was Oh nope stop Um Yep yeah, that so 
I was wondering about that because in all the images, it has a cable going around the pole. It needs to go on the inside. <sighs> yeah, so that did not go too well, but that's part of the reason why while I was doing all this stuff, I stayed here before it did anything bad. <sighs> Always things to uh, learn, do something new. I just, straight away, I was just like, this just does not seem right. I'm like, oh, it must be. But, yeah. Right now, I've got to get it to restart that all over again. That's okay. Yeah, so both these big boxes next to me are just filament oh that's cool as you're gonna like this Katobi you know how we were sort of guessing how much filaments on the rolls and going oh yeah we've printed about this sort of amount and all that stuff the rolls on this filament has markers on it that tell you like when it's at this par, uh, point it's like 500 grams or 200 grams left like yeah, it's giving those details. Which is so much better than the ones where it's a guessing game. Up there is rubbish. Now I'll grab my pliers here. So what I gotta do with these is I gotta grab my filament, which is here. So I'll be able to show you now. Um, well, you might not shot very well on the camera, but you can kind of hopefully see that there's marks on the filament. Those marks, yeah, let you know how much filament is left on the roll. So, I've got to get the filament and uh, cut it on a 45 degree angle to get it to uh, uh -huh. it has a lock to keep it closed, nice. Yeah, so just got to give it a little 45 degree snip. And that way, when I put it on and thread it through the machine, it's going to be okay and go through okay. Oh, that's cool. Lights up when. Uh, there's filament going through it. There we go. Now I got white filament going in.
right, so around about there is the right spot. That is so much easier. Nice. Yeah, so this is my uh, pastime lately. Instead of streaming and all that sort of jazz, I've been doing things like this and house projects and the like. Getting, getting stuff done around the place. So I don't think I'm going to use that, I'm just going to stick it in instead of having that because that's kind of awkward. <sighs> so yeah, eventually I've got to figure out exactly how and where I'm going to store all my filaments and stuff. But for the time being, they're just going to sit in the box. But yeah, now that I've got this all set up, once it's finished, does does its leveling, pretty much means uh, from that point onwards, I can I can do some printing with it. Which would be awesome. These boxes can just go over here somewhere out of the way. It's gonna be good once I have this area set up where I'm uh, gonna be putting them more permanently project coming soon yeah I'll probably do a test print with this at some point um, I don't know if I can be bothered about doing it today uh, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and for people who know me they know they start work very early as a full-time truck driver so I will probably chill out, do a few other things instead of worrying about uh, printing stuff, but I do have the SD card here, which goes into the other side. This machine has a lot of options um, for things like uh, uh, autosave. Um, it will like if say the power went out while it's printing, it will remember where it's, it was at. Yeah, that's, that's a nice draw. Having a bigger draw like that is awesome because the Ender 3 um, being a lot smaller printer, yeah, it uh, doesn't have a good draw for your tools to go into. So instead I've got something that I'll print it out and put the tools up the top instead. Um, but also the Ender 3 is a lot cheaper than this. This printer, normal price in Australia is a thousand two hundred. Um, I got it while I was on sale directly from the uh, manufacturer's Australian website. Um, and yeah, it was only 850 pretty much. So basically the price that I saved, I could have bought another Ender 3 if I wanted to. But yeah, that's just done its auto leveling. Um, it's completed now, so I can go back. I don't need to do anything there, I don't believe. So, as far as I can tell, it's ready to go. Um, I wonder if there's any prints actually on this already. Usually they, they do that this side up. I'm gonna leave this sticker on it, I reckon. So I remember. Go that way. That's that print. Oh, there are. Three goats. Mm. 
I just want to see what it, what it says the the print time is on this. If it's only a relatively small print time, I'll let it do its thing. Turn the light on while you're printing. Nice. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think any of these have been set up properly. That's fine. That, um, that's a future Skylar uh, project, is to work on that. First I need to do a few things on my computer to uh, make sure things work properly. Um, yeah because I've got stuff to set up there. So I'm going to jump back around to the uh, computer now. Ugh. Do, 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 do. <coughs> that was a, Oop, I got a message. I got a message, I got a message. That was a lot quicker um, stream than I was expecting it to take. I was actually expecting um, the 3D printer to be in a lot more parts than it is, so uh, that was a lot quicker, like that was what, an hour and a half. When I built my Ender 3, it took me at least three hours um, because you had to do everything yourself. So like with the Ender 3, that you have to install yourself. The belts in the channel here, you have to install yourself. You have to screw the wheels on properly. Some of the motors, like the motor you have to put in place. There's the um, thread, um, threaded shaft that you have to install correctly. Like all this sort of stuff, you have to screw it all together yourself. You have to pretty much build the whole thing yourself. So this one, is a pretty simple one to put together, but uh, it's going to drastically improve my uh, productivity, I guess you could say, when it comes to 3D printing. So, yeah, I'm happy I made the purchase. Um, I definitely would make it again. So, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, I would normally just say see you next time, but I uh, don't know when next time's going to be. Uh, but Whenever that is, I will uh, see us then. Um, hopefully it won't be too long, but it is coming up to peak season, so I probably won't be streaming in that because, of course, work gets a lot busier, but in this quieter time of year, I might try and start streaming a bit more frequently again, so. Hasta la vista. Don't be awesome. Be fabulous. Bye. And where'd my screen go?